say yes, and we appreciate you accepting the invitation for tonight. So let God use you and have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. God say yeah, 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 yes. God say yeah, 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 yeah. God say yeah, 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 yeah.
out to somebody. Find somebody that's not next to you. Find somebody that's out of the way. Point to them and say, new beginnings. Well, why don't you stand up? Why don't you stand up? Why don't you stand up? And, 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 and walk to somebody that's 10 feet away and give them a high five and say, new beginnings. Somebody say, new beginnings. Said you touch and agree. New beginnings. Someone said new beginnings. Hallelujah. Make me shout up in here. Thank you, Jesus. I'm a little excited here about to get ahead of myself. Huh? I give honor to the Spirit of God. I give honor to my late chief apostle, Julia Williams. The later part beginnings. It may be a little different, but I guarantee you, you're going to go away uh, feeling good. You're going to go away being empowered. Praise the Lord. And Pastor Smith, if you would uh, read for us, it's Isaiah 43 18. And 19, and then Joshua 1 and 2. Remember these texts. I know that you will not forget the text because that's your main theme, but the companion text that goes with it. Praise the Lord. Joshua 1 and 2. I want you to read. And Isaiah 43rd chapter 18, verse. Remember ye not the former things, yes, yes. neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, new thing. Yes. and now it shall spring forth. Yes. Shall ye not know it? Yes. I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Yes. 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 Joshua 1 and 1 and 1 and 2. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Jesus. My servant is dead. Now therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people, unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. So the operative word that we want to really bring out, the two words that headline your theme new and beginning. New has to do with something that is fresh, unused. It also has to do with something that is different and better. So I want to say better. Fresher. Uh, beginning has to do with a starting point, a point in which something starts and something happens. Uh, what I want to bring to you is this you cannot have a new beginning without a four letter word. Yes. There are four letter words that we learned that are not so good, but then there is a four letter word uh, that you find that is powerful. Yes. It's one of the most powerful words in the Bible. Amen. Hope is that four letter word. You can't have a new beginning without hope. Yes. Amen. Tell it. 
What is hope? What is the difference between hope and faith? We use those. Hope is to wait for an expectation. You're expecting something. What are you expecting? If you expect the same thing to happen every day, then then that's not hope. Um, That's something that is a routine. Hope is out of the routine. Faith is about what God can do. Faith is rooted in the past. We know God can do it. Why? Because he's done it before. If he's done it before in the past, then he can do it again. Somebody say he can do it again. He can do it again. It can happen because there are examples that he has, that has happened before. Hope is a little different. Hope is God's will. Uh oh. Hope is an extension of your faith. That's why the Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hope is next level faith. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. When hope is mixed with faith, it is no longer it can happen. It will happen. Yes, hope is future tense. Hope is about God's destiny and his plan for you. Can you see it now? Despite what it may look like, it may look like doom and gloom, But hope said there is a plan behind the madness. I know that you're going through because I'm going through. Why am I going through? Why is First Lady going through? Why is Bishop going through? Because it gives us an idea of what the people are struggling with. Somebody say, yes, Lord. Hope is about God's destiny and his plan for you, despite what it may look like. It may look like doom and gloom, but hope said there is a plan behind the madness. Remember, faith and hope work together. They do not truly exist without the other. One is God can. The other is God will. New beginnings happen when there is hope. It was Joshua's mission to take the children of Israel over to the promised land and the promised land is identified as something that was prophesied. It was prophesied. Uh, Let me just take a little PSA. Those words um, are by inspiration of the Holy Ghost. God gave me these words during our fast and I send it out to our church. So I'm connecting both uh, what your theme is and uh, what God is speaking uh, to my soul that will take us to where God wants us to be. Uh, Joshua, uh, he he, uh, was a man of God who was faithful in his duty. Uh, He was a servant of Moses And Moses was faithful In his house And he led the children of Israel Out of Egypt And unfortunately They were rebellious And as a result They had to uh, uh, In the wilderness For 40 years Uh, But In the midst of that Joshua was faithful. Joshua was there when the miracles took place. He was there when they crossed the Red Sea and he saw um, Pharaoh's army swallowed up uh, in God's presence. He was there when uh, uh, the uh, Moabites came up against uh, Israel, and he was there when uh, God sent the famine, uh, the manna, and he was there when they went thirsty, but he was dedicated 
He was consecrated. He was faithful. Praise the Lord. Uh, and as a result of it, uh, uh, when Moses died, Joshua took on leadership. Uh, Joshua had a mindset. God chose Joshua. Uh, Lord have mercy. Anybody know about being chosen? When God chooses you, uh, you become a prisoner. You become, uh, you got to do his will. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Moses was, I mean, Joshua was somewhere between 60 and 80 uh, when he took on the leadership. Remember, uh, he, he, he was in the wilderness 40 years. Uh, so, so he wasn't a young man. He, he was mature. Uh, he was settled. He was uh, well educated. He was taught. Uh, what I'm saying to you, it's a good thing to become mature. It's a good thing to sit under your leader and to be taught. It's a good thing to wait your turn. Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. I, I sat on my pastor for 25 years. It was not in a hurry uh, to go out and to pastor or to be some kind of uh, evangelist. I was willing to work. But that's how Joshua was. He, he was a worker, so God chose him. It wasn't even Moses that chose Joshua. God chose Joshua. Lord have mercy. Uh, and as a result, God told him to take the children over into the promised land. Uh, just pray for me. And I'll get there. Praise the Lord. The promised land is a land that had been prophesied. It is a land that God had told Abraham, I'm going to give you and your children this land. Yes. And, and uh, your children and your children's children. And, and you're going to live here and you're going to prosper here. And they had to go through many trials, many years of affliction before a prophecy. The greater the prophecy, the greater the suffering. You want to know why you're suffering? It's because, Lord, you got something great uh, that is about to happen. Somebody say a new beginning. Uh, so, so, so Joshua uh, was looking for a new beginning. He understood what it was like uh, to be desolate, to be in the wilderness. Oh, my, even a husband. Uh, somebody say, yeah. Uh, you got to fight for it. Uh, just like the children of Israel uh, had to go into the promised land. Uh, they had to fight uh, for their blessing, uh, for their prophecy. Uh, you may have had a prophecy uh, uh, that you're going to be the head. Uh, but before you become the head, uh, you want to know what it's like to be the tail. Uh, somebody say, yeah. Uh, because uh, when you're the tail, uh, then you're going to have hope. Uh, Lord, have mercy. Uh, you're going to be in the beginning to begin to look to God. Uh, you're going to begin uh, to have some expectation. Uh, somebody say, yeah. Uh, Hallelujah. Look at here now. Ah, Adam and Eve had two. He slew evil. Somebody. Somebody. went to God. Uh, hallelujah. I, I know that they sin. Uh, I know that they transgress. Hey, uh, a new beginning. Uh, I messed up, uh, but now uh, I see my error. Uh, I was wrong. Uh, uh, what I did. 
sin. But if you fix it, Lord have mercy and give me a new beginning. And then by and by, Seth came. Lord have mercy. Then Seth had enough. Then men begin to call on the name of the Lord. God will give you a new beginning. Somebody say, yeah. Look at Sarah. Help the Holy Ghost. Uh, God told her, her Abraham, uh, you're going to have a child. Uh, she was young. Uh, Lord have mercy. Uh, hallelujah. When God spoke it, uh, fertile she believed. Uh, when God said it, uh, God, uh, in the off of time, uh, then years began to pass by. Uh, she was 90, uh, 90 years old. Uh, God spoke to her, say you will have a child about this time next year. She laughed because it seemed impossible. But somebody say new beginnings require hope. Lord have mercy. She reached out and grabbed hold of the hope. Somebody say yeah. Result, look at him now. After all, by and by, Lord have mercy. Hallelujah. She had a child by the name of Isaac. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Now, she was past the age of having children. That's right. Yes. Breaks forth miracles. Yeah. Huh? But you gotta have some hope. Just some hope. You don't have to have a whole lot. Now, Sarah didn't have a whole lot of hope. Uh, she thought it was crazy. Lord have mercy and through the hope God worked a miracle. Lord have mercy. Look at here now. Ruth uh, she was a daughter-in-law of Naomi. She had another sister-in-law over and uh, as time would have it sometime misfortune happens. Both uh, Naomi's husband, Oprah and Ruth's husband died. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, they left Bethlehem, Judah, and they went to, uh, as my wife said, a garbage can area. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. So they're in this garbage can of a village. Uh, it's just two of them. No income. No money. But Lord have mercy. Uh, but Ruth uh, told Nehemiah, told uh, uh, Naomi, uh, said, where you go, I go. Uh, say, your God is my God. Uh, somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, she didn't have anything. Uh, but she had God. have mercy. The Bible says, now they're by the faith, hope, and charity. The greatest of these is charity. But I'm telling you now, hope is a great word. Maybe not great as charity, but hope will move mountains. Hope will heal your body. Hope will save so, uh, hope uh, will turn uh, the situation around. Uh, hope uh, will stop the sun uh, in the sky. Uh, somebody say, yeah. uh, 
Look at here now. I'm almost finished. Hezekiah was sick unto death. Lord have mercy. Isaiah went to him and said, You shall surely die. Come the Holy Ghost. You should die and not live. But look at here now. What did he do? He turned his face to the wall. He began to pray. Prayer will build up your hope. Somebody say, yeah. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus Christ. His righteousness. Yeah. Let's 
Understand God is directed and God is using them to speak through me, to speak to me. Lord, I I done got off on a, a different area. Praise the Lord. But it's important. Now through Naomi's, God was using Naomi. Now, how can God use it? She done lost her husband. You know how people are. They say when you lose somebody, you ain't got no power. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. She's now broke. She's poor. How can God use you when you're poor? Uh-oh. We got this fallacy to think that God uses us because we got money. Thank you, Lord. 
Somebody say yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. But God was using the young man. There was a plan. I'm telling you, God got a plan. He got a plan. I can't tell you, A to Z, what that plan is. Who knows the mind of God? I don't know, but I know he's got a plan. Because hope, oh, have mercy.
in Jesus' name. I said, the Lord going to fix it for you. I said, God going to uh, give you a job. Uh, and uh, if you guess for you. I was a substitute teacher. I had finished one master's program. And I'm a substitute teacher. Somehow my name, not even my application, my name got to HR. They called me and said, we have a new program at Hopkins. It's called Alternative Certification. And we are selecting 10 from the city and 10 from the county. And I'm just a substitute. I didn't put no application in. Lord have mercy. Someone said new beginnings. And at that time, I was struggling. Uh, Lord have mercy. Substitute make $45 an hour, like $75 a long term. This is many years ago. They pay a little bit more, but you can't really live off a substitute salary unless you got a, another income. Lord, I thank you right now. I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the gospel truth. I'm not lying to you. God is my witness. I did not put an application in. They called me. Tell me God won't do it. Someone said, won't he do it? Said, we got a program. It said, we want you to be a part of this program. But uh, I got it. Thank you, Jesus. Someone said, won't it do it? God take you from a nobody and then make you somebody. Come on, give God a hand clap, everybody. Come on, give God the Lord. Thank you. Look, one more time, go to somebody. Tell them you again.
saved your life, I see a new beginning for you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. I don't know how you feel about this, but I see it's cool. Somebody said it's cool. Somebody said new beginnings. Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And uh, I see some construction going on here. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. You know, uh, I see some construction. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And that's going to uh, benefit a lot of people. Lord have mercy. God said he's going to fertilize the vision. It shall come to pass. Write the vision. Make a plan. Though you read it, though it tarry, wait for it. It, it shall come to pass. Lord have mercy. But I see expansion. Lord have mercy. Uh-oh. This time next year, there's some churches that uh, want to come under the body. You didn't tell me anything about it. You didn't tell me anything about it. But it's been some discussions. Somebody tell the Lord, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. I see expansion. Uh, God didn't give you that thing for just coincidence. It is. God is beginning a new beginning. Look, let me tell you. Lord have mercy. Don't God authors time. Don't worry about time. He got time. All wrapped up. He'll stop time for you. He stopped time for Hezekiah. He made it go back 15 degrees. Lord have mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Lord have mercy. It shall happen. It will happen. Why? Because of hope. Hope is creating that new beginning. God bless everybody. Yeah. 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 